welcome to my channel my name is Michelle this is the second part of how 2021 changed me if you haven't watched the first part then you should definitely watch it before this video but the reason are that I was moving from Germany to UK during pandemic and Brexit and today I'm going to talk about what happened after I arrived in UK so during the editing about my video I just figured out I'll delete some part which is really important and that's the reason I'm going to add this um, to the video it's about um, my journey um, started uh, in the UK of course this is the uh, second part where I'm going to talk how I've been uh, during 2021 in the UK and the first thing as I said um, I was like getting a sim card trying to build my business down download like the bumble app and um so the first two months I was like switching between um, building my business with Arbonne and the second part finding a job um, to survive because I, don't, I didn't have like a fixed income inside and my saving money is going lower and lower a little bit little by little and um, as a person who was always independent I don't want to rely on someone so for me it was really important to find a job and also make it successful with Arbonne and uh, I was really exhausted myself trying to new things trying to put as much as I can do um, message people on Bumble trying to sell them the network marketing but now I can say this is not going to work, not for me at least, and um, this is not how, my, how I want to build my business. And um, yeah, and the second part, um, before I even find my first job, I was really strong. I was like every day um, emailing out and then, I f and then by the end as I was struggling, I went to Facebook, to German groups and there was like that person, like my, my hiring manager, like my HR, she said like um, she needs someone who can speak, uh, they are currently looking for German speaker, so I apply, um, so I just DM her if they're still looking for a German, German speaker, and that's how I got my first job. And it was really fast, like after my first interview, I got like on the next week, um, I think within three days, um, the computer, laptop, and I should, I was up to start the job and at the time I was so excited because wow that happened so fast I mean as I was in Germany and decided to go, come, going to UK it was really hard to find a job and within one month um, I think three weeks two weeks I found a job and really by the end and um I was really as I said I was really happy excited okay now I can I, will, I don't need to think about a fixed income since money is coming in so I can do it besides building my business and that's really what about network marketing is. You can build it on the time where you want to do and it's not like something you have to schedule down, um, you have to do it like on a side business and that is really the nice thing about our album because yeah you have the flexibility working whenever you want to and that's the reason I decided to work in full time it was really nice I, I think I was working until four or five and so during Brexit there's so many changes and one of the changes you are not that flexible like before that you if you're coming from a Europe country to UK that you don't need any paper now it's like if some other people citizens coming from other countries besides of europe they need to have like a paper like a, a visa and at the time i didn't have like the visa i thought i could do like eu settlement or pre-settlement as i have a family member here but um because it's not my close relative it's not that other like it's not that what i could do that's how um the company who i was working from april until G end of G june they couldn't take me over so they said like i have to end the contract in um we really appreciate how you work but um yeah that's how i was already looking for a job from july from I think I already started by mid of June until July and then I think mid of July I got another receive and at the time I was like still not successful with network marketing and because I did this in the wrong way as I said and I didn't get any help from um from a mentor they didn't inspire me how to do that and um i don't i don't blame them because every people have their own way and how they're making it it's not that way i wanted to do my network marketing and um so i was really successful with it so i didn't have the money i was desperate again looking for a job and i was questioning myself again did i make the right decision 
I'm in the UK living from my saving I don't have any savings left anymore and then I lost again a job and I was from June again until July I was looking for a job I was desperate and my business wasn't going out well because I as I said at the beginning I did so many mistakes what I wouldn't do anymore because I would prefer instead of pushing myself out message people I should understand about my business and um to prepare myself and do the way finding a way what I can talk how I can help others instead of focus okay I need to find people to make it and this reason and beside you know I was in UK again looking for a job I I get used to it. I have my room. I was. I have a friend who is really, really helping me go through it, and also my boyfriend at the time really supporting me. I was like, okay, I'm giving up. I don't think it's right. And he said, no, Michelle, you went to UK to make it successful. So you're gonna stay there for one year as we were, as we agreed, and trying to get you stuff done. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to get my stuff done. <laughs> so without like his support, I wouldn't be going to stay I was like okay I'm giving up you know this is not worth it but because of his support and also I got a lot of uh, training through YouTube uh, by people who is um, telling you how to prepare for interviews I prepare my interviews I try to message people and that's how I got like that one recruiter who got me the current shop I'm working I'm working now also as a recruiter and I really enjoy it. I really love my team and the company is just amazing. I went to work on person. It's the first time I've been in an interview again after two or three years uh, in a not literally. It's like going to person face to face. So I was preparing a lot for that and I got really help. I'm going to mention her YouTube channel downstairs below. If you're currently looking for a job and you want to prepare about your interview, you should definitely watch her because she is going to give you really good ideas how to prepare it. And also his shoots is just amazing. I would always recommend her. After I received my job offer, I was really excited, happy that it went already that fast and also I feel really this is a company who is going to bring me forward and I'm really still happy with it. I've been there since August and as I said August, um, because of paperwork, I need to go back to Germany because it's illegal to do, uh, to apply for a job in UK and um, I'm doing the visa application. So you have to go back to your country and apply for the for um for the visa application and that's how I did I went back to Germany I was living at the time spending time with my boyfriend as uh, Bernie also has a location in Frankfurt and that's how I, my boyfriend didn't live far away and that's how I, sp uh, I spent it I think three three months with my boyfriend until the paperwork get done it get it went really fast like uh I never thought um, it would be that easy. Of course, visa application is just um, the paper. And I will do like another video talking about, about the visa application, but um, to run it short, uh, what you need for the visa application for a skilled work visa. You have to do an English test. And after you, uh, after you receive your English test, you can apply for the visa application. And um, I, was, I did it, I think, by the, uh, at the beginning of October. And um, within three days or two days, I got like uh, my com confirmation. So I was flying back to to Manchester at the beginning of November because I still had like paper paperwork to get done in Germany again. Because um, like anywhere you have to sign in insurances. And at the time, I got like a German contract from my company, and that's the reason I was again like uh, need to sign in and sign off, and it takes sometimes in Germany mostly like for four to up to seven days and that's the reason um i tell her i'm going to fly at the beginning of november and yes i remember i received the confirmation for my visa application at my boyfriend's boy uh, birthday and i felt so sad because i have to leave him i was really so comfortable and he was oh it's so sad if i remember like how he looked at me and but Things is going well, so I cannot complain. This is how my 2021 was. As you guys see, at the beginning, I was really from up to really down, and then I was again up, and then we are down, and now really up, and I'm still really up. And um, 
that's how my energy is for 2022. I'm going to build on my business. I'm going to focus on being successful with my full-time job because this is really what I've really found my happiness. I love my colleagues. I love my managers. I love my job, what I'm doing. And um, of course, like the money, money, what I'm getting from this job is also amazing. Besides of it, I still dreaming of making this business working for me because without Arbonne, without my network marketing, I would never thought about moving to another country i would never getting out quitting my job and it helped me to grow so much and that's the reason i could never never say anything bad about network marketing because it changed my mindset it changed how i was thought about working uh work wise it makes me realize what I want in my life and that's the reason Arbon is still my baby, it's still my business, I'm still going to throw it and one day, maybe not now, but a business sometimes takes three, four years, but I will get to make Arbon my business and this is how I hope I can inspire other people and help other to finding a way for what's going to work for you it doesn't have to be network marketing but for me it was definitely network marketing which helped me to get out of my old life and that's the reason i'm still in and what i hope you guys will know what you want to want, get what you want to done and if you really want to get it done you have to be committed to it if you're not changing your if you're not changing your current situation where you're not happy about then nothing we're gonna change that's how i believed so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to know more about the uk application or how my network marketing is going to what kind of mistakes i did i'm going to put a lot of content in this channel so please subscribe this channel and give me a like or what you want to know more about on the comment um yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoy and goodbye <laughs>